I choose you. So what we're doing, here's one I made for practice earlier today. I don't like it, the legs are too fat. You gotta make a body and then put some legs on it. How hard could that be? Here's one I made some months ago. This is what happens if you start doing it this way up, how the palm leaf sits makes the legs tuck together but when they dry out if you do it this way you get that effect so I'm doing it on its back like this oh foods about there somewhere bit of a cure of the dawn streaming in the lounge room hey Kira all right you got the central spine and this is the dance. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. Over that way. See that? Whee, like that. And you stick it back through here. Like that. Easy done. This one. Over like that. And down. Okay. Stick your thumb under there and pull it tight. Alright. When you fold this back up that way, that's back where it started. So, you do it again. Over like that. And through there. Hold that down flat. Watch this. Hold that down flat. That comes over the top there. And... And you got that little edge in there, see that? Pull that tight. Yeah. Again, this one here. Roll her over the top like that. Pull it down. Hold this one down here real tight so when this comes through, you get that little bend in it like that. Tight, tight. Next one. Okay, we're away. Yeah, use all your fingers. I worked out how to make these when I saw one somewhere. And the woman who owned it wouldn't tell me how she did it. So I had a good look at it. And I went away and I made one, fresh and green. Then I sat it next to hers. She took it fairly well. What do we got? About that many? Da, 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 da. More, more, more. We need more body. You can make the body as long as you like and you can twist it any way you like because the process is pretty basic. I've done some real fancy ones where I made the tail like a fan. So it looked like a prawn. Lots of little legs sticking out everywhere. And I've got to say, it's hardly worth the effort. What do we got here now? Plenty? Oh, that's, that's, that's plenty of body. All right, pulls that up. Pull that one up tight. One more on this side to make it even. And... Oh. Sorry about that. Uh, all right, look at that. It's a grasshopper body. I don't like that one. It's a grasshopper body. Yeah, that's nice. All right, now you've got to tie it off somewhere. So what you do is you take one of these and split it down the middle. like that you get this bit one half of it and uh, 
Just give a bit of a squeeze and a poke, make a little bit of space and yeah. See if I can get this. You slip it in there like that, straight down the middle, and with any luck, there it is, coming out the end. Excellent. So, you split the other one. Oh, don't want to split it there. Um, yeah, that's better. And you take the inside one of those and you poke it down in kind of the same place. Yeah, a bit of, I'm leaving it all a bit loose to do this because it makes it easier. There we go. In there? Are you going in there? Yes. Yeah, there we are. Yes, through. All right. What I should have done there before I put it through was to just trim that off neat. You get that. All right. All ready to tie off. So, go back to basics. Pull that down. Pull that down nice and tight. Pull that down nice and tight. There we got that all neat. And then pull these and see how they pull that tight yeah ah, I like that see that tied off in the middle so that's that's all secure and it's looking a little bit more like that so I'm gonna make the back legs next but we've got way too much of this don't need that for front legs are only little so I'm going to make the back legs skinnier this time. Last time I made them a bit too wide, not overly happy with that. So I'm going to make them about that fat crack. This, really, if you've got a palm like this in your place, you've got to be making these. I've done this with cocos palm and other stuff and yeah, once again, not worth the effort. So I want the legs to be about that big, that'll do. So I'll put some knees in there, done, and I want them to go like that. So I'll put a little bit of a crack in that, feed that through, and then maybe this one there. Feed that through there. Go on, baby, through that crack. There you go, like that. Lovely. All right. Back legs, front legs. Tail is way too long. So, I like it about, oh, about there, maybe. And I think I'll put some wings on it, like that. Now, feet. How to do feet. There's a trick with the feet and it is this. I want this foot to poke backwards and out. Like that one. I like the legs to go backwards on the... You can do whatever you like, but I want them to go backwards and out. So what I do, first decide they're going to be about there. Mark that. And then I go backwards and out. And I run this around and poke it back through the loop like that yeah same with this one I want it to go backwards and out so I go backwards and out like that and then I just run that round there and through that loop like that done leg trim that off at an artistic angle and Uh, same thing on the front legs when we go out in that way so put them out that way and then 
this is why I cut the excess off, it's easier to fold them. Go like that. There you go, that looks like a foot. How do you do? About the same length. Near enough. And I want that about there and that about there. And look. Looking very grasshoppery. Alright, to finish it off. I get this bit, tie a loop in that, and then hook that loop over the end there, and there you go. A grasshopper in about 10 minutes. Yeah, have fun with that. I'd say get hopping, but you know. I have standards. Ah, another lovely afternoon. And you've got something to do. Hey, hey. see ya.